Okay, friends, so this is going to be a mainstays metal arm uh, futon uh, build here. So, got this from Walmart just now. It's about $139, I think. Putting up in a tree house here, so let's uh, let's see. Let's see no. Okay. All right. So looks like we got the uh, pillow parts here. For the uh, cushions and then it comes with the I guess a removable uh, outer part and more so the cushions seem pretty soft got some they're probably about oh five six inches thick there all right so there's four of those and then we have this part, so apparently the whole weight of everything was just this uh, box here. Some box. metal parts here. So we're gonna try to get this out of our way here real quick. All right, that was fun. And you guys missed all the action there, putting that box away. And uh, yeah. So this is all weight right here in this thing. And uh, I was trying to pull up that other box and get out of the way, this thing fell over on my foot. And surprisingly enough, it didn't hurt as much as it should have, I think, because it weighs, um, it's pretty heavy. So, so oh, it's 50 pounds, so it's not like super heavy, but okay, I'm gonna open this up now. So all the assembly, be these parts here. And how's that gonna come out of here? I'm just gonna open up like that so it has all our little things. It has thank you for purchasing. What are you gonna need? A wrench, an Allen key, need help, call us all the steps here. Okay, so um Probably should have some. Man, it'd be nice to have my multi tool on me. It says caution, homie says to permit do not use power tools. Well, I've brought my power tool. Probably shouldn't use it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have my knife on me. I'm gonna break these stupid things here. Zip ties are on here. I guess we can just break them. Super strong, but well, it'd have been easier if I would have brought my knife. That didn't feel great. Okay, there's another one. Let's really wrap this thing up here. I mean, some things are not really necessary, is it? To, to, like zip ties on everything. Come on, man. Okay, so we're starting to free it up here a little bit. Uh, doesn't really seem. Man, these look pretty, pretty weak here. I guess they're on there though. Okay, so there's one piece. There's our tools there. Uh, there's a metal. Man, I really should have a knife here. This is really frustrating. You know what? I'm going to fight it. It's going to take 10 times longer. I don't have my knife on me. So, right back. Okay. 
So, got my scissors, looking for my multi tool, but I couldn't find it. So, scissors will make this a little bit easier for us, I guess. Paid by the by the plastic wrap or something. Where are all these pieces here? And okay, these are all labeled. Oh, some assembly required. And we got more parts than a Lego set. too much bigger on the packaging. So packaging's at a premium. Okay, finally, we can actually get down to putting this together. There we go, parts freed up. There's a chore in itself. Stay. All right, let's get this box out of here. Like the last one get us some room we can actually work with and then we can begin all right got my beverage I got my workspace got my instructions all my tools here we are ready to go let's liberate hidden away in here, so having pads. Let's just kind of make some cuts by these, I guess. I know what we're working with. This is, oops. All right, now let's just begin. Enough. Enough. So take A and B. These are our little, little arms here. Okay, and I'm just gonna jump ahead. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but why are these pinched in like that? 
So I'm going to jump ahead and put these in there, maybe. Let's go in there. What, what's the deal here? These are all identical. And I assume they just go right in here. These are a little the bases of the foot, right? So not sure. Uh, maybe that got bent. Do you think that got bent in shipping? These parts were bent a little bit, you know. I mean, bend them out a little bit. So, so um, I think the bar was like resting on that. So if I just put this on there, I can just kind of. There, it's pretty soft. I don't know if it's aluminum or what, but okay. There's that one in there, and so yeah, this one's just bent in a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my piece here, and just bend that out ever so slightly. I think in packaging or something, that one uh, kind of. Really? You want to fight me? V1. These are all V1s, so theoretically, it's just bent in it's still a little bit more. So pop that out just a tad. I'll try to get that in there. I thought that would be the easy part. I don't want to pinch the card out of my hand here. What is that? What the tarnation is going on here? All right, what if we just go like this? Get it lined up. Use my Shortcut there, I guess. I'm hoping those go in there because if they don't, I'm gonna get pain getting those out. But all right, so yeah, these aren't really bent in like that. Should go in a little easier. Mm. I just want a, a mallet would be good, you know. If I had a mallet, I'd be all right. Not to. So um, if you guys are doing this nice uh, rubber mallet would probably be good to get these in there because these are not okay let's try that other way seem to work pretty good a little bit Okay, yeah, so I wonder what their suggestion for putting those in would be. Just be like, gently press them into place and you are good to go, end cap. Okay, here's an eye. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, you need an extra hand and a mallet to help with the assembly. Well, a hard board should be used to prevent V1 from being damaged, so yeah. Okay, we cut a corner there. Make sure the tube and the corner touches. Yeah. Okay, so they put like a they put the thing on the back side, and they put like a board over the top. They tap that down with a mallet. All right, we did it the old school way, I guess. A little bit elbow grease, and we're cutting some corners there. So that was basically. Seeing all our parts here is the first few pages. We're going to step one. Was putting those in there, so I didn't really cut any steps. I just kind of did what was supposed to be done. All right, so now step two. Which way are we facing here? A, we got B on our right. Do not reverse the mechanisms. L and R. Okay, so this is very important. Looks like B is sloping down on our right, sloping down A on our left. We got mechanisms here. Okay, and this one is 
right. So we're facing this on our right. Right is going to go on B. So there's an R on there. And left is going to go on A. All right. So it says, what uh, do we need? We need nines. Six sevens, two nines, eights, sevens. We need nines. Okay, nines and what else? Oh, fours and nines for the bolts. Screws are fours, bolts are nines. We're just going to cut over to our um, fours here and just pull them out. Right, and these are a quarter inch, one and one sixteenth inches, and nines are going to be. We have all these bolts right here. We got a bunch of them. So we've already cut over to that, and we're just going to pull out four of those bad boys. Maybe. You know, we're just going to cut more, so enough to where we can keep our things together and yet still access our stuff here. There we go. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. So we got four of those, four of those, just like putting a Lego set together, guys. Um, now, how's this going to go here? Well, it looks like, okay, this mechanism is facing the lower slope. We got our, our screws are going to come through this outside. So your outside is going to be flat. And those are going to come through there side of this so outside is flat like this inside has this bevel here and you want the spring part is towards the taller end here so we'll put these on there okay now we attach these with our screws so I'm just gonna hold that on Put my finger on one side to hold it, the screw in place, and then attach that. Same thing with this side. Just grip your, grab your finger, hold the screw on one side while you, while you're um, attaching the nut on there. I let's see, hold that. Using rescue and tightening bolts. Top makes them make these look different due to movable joints. Please determine the orientation based on the bottom sides. Okay. Same thing here. Screw goes through here on this side. I guess I can show you guys what I'm doing here. Screw goes through on that side. And I'm just holding it with this one while I pull the, the bracket right here. So just holding that there. All right, so sloping downside. Gonna put this one on first. Perhaps. The screw should be able to hand tighten there. So um, it's got nylon threads on them too at the end, so it's kind of like a, it's a little lock nut. So um, when, you, when you're hand tightening the screw, I'm just getting them on there first. If it doesn't tighten, if it's off a little bit, you can strip the screw. So make sure it goes on straight. If you force it on there, you will strip your um, the threads on your screws. Okay, so we can get our Allen keys, I guess, out and get our wrench. Man, a, they didn't spare any expense. They give me two Allen keys though, so we're gonna hold the Allen key in this, this one side. Hold that in place and just kind of slowly turn with our wrench here. All right. Maybe I'll actually just turn it with my Allen key. Might be a little better. Okay, so there's that one. Wrench in place, get our Allen key in place. And righty tighty. Lefty 
Okay, so. I'm surprised there's no washers on these. So, there we go. Just like that. Hair. There we go. And we can go back to this side and then tighten this one on here. So but the power tools should be would be a lot faster. It says not to use them. So Socket wrench would sure would be nice. I just don't want to make another trip out to the garage, up in the tree house here. So kind of being a little lazy, I guess. But a socket wrench would be a, a better tool than this little tiny thing they gave me. And uh, I'd definitely make a short work of this job. So if you do, a socket wrench would be good. Usually the key, the stuff they give you isn't, you know, it's like the bottom of the line stuff here. All right, so that is that. I'm gonna crack a window here a little bit. It's break time already. Got my Snapple. I'm not sponsored by Snapple, which I was. Delicious. That was step one, guys, so got that going on. Now, why, why is that step five? All right, I thought I did one page. Step one, I'm sorry, that was step two. Step one was the, the feet on there. All right, so we got G's and H's. So we get our H's and our G's. These guys are gonna go. Here's our H's, these metal pieces, and our G's. So this is gonna be, hopefully, this is gonna fit here. I'm gonna move my, um, my cushions up a little bit so we have room to set up our thing here. So cushions off to the side. Cushions off to the side. Dun, dun, dun. Cushions off to the side. Okay. Window open all the way. Now we put this over here. That. And that block on your view there, guys. We'll have to see. Oh, man. I'm going to move these cushions uh, into this back part of the treehouse here. Just so the view isn't obstructed too much. Alright, so this is definitely not a speed run we're doing on the install here. Okay, cushions are down. And here we go. Out of the way. Okay, I thought I measured. I'm hoping this is a ten, ten, ten. big enough here. So which way are these gonna go? Looking like where'd our step three go? Step three. Put those together. Um, let's say which way the hole is going. Hmm. That. Okay, so I'm guessing smaller hole on the top. These are going downwards. I'm gonna make a command decision here, and tell me these aren't bent as well. Okay, this should just 
something slide in there. Okay. Bizarre. Gonna slide in there. That's a little easier. Okay, so it is wide enough here. And we get another two. Big hole. There's a big hole on the H and a little hole. Big hole faces down uh, with in the direction that the bees are going. So that. There we go. All right. So what screws do we need? We need test D times two to H with five. So we need number five. I haven't got number five out yet. What I do with number five? Cut off the little reference key here. That can't be right. We only have two number fives. Da, da, da. Okay, and that's D. So D is our little leg. So we only need two number fives with that one. Okay. So it says attach these little support things. That's going to slide into the bottom of the big hole there. And we're going to screw these into that. Remember, um, just hand tighten it first. And if it goes on nice and easy, you know you're not stripping the threads on there. Same with this one. That goes up into the hole there. Just going to tilt that towards you guys. You can see the hole right here. This goes in there. And then, remember, don't strip your thread. So if it's difficult to go in there, back it out and retry it. You should, you should be able to hand tighten these all the way. Not the ones with the nylon threading or the, on the nut, but on these ones should be able to. And then we're going to tighten that up with our power key. This is not going to be uh, the sturdiest futon in the world. Ones and tens. So we're going to attach this now to our side parts with the ones and tens. We need eight ones and four tens. This is step five. Step five. Eight ones. So those are all these right here. Just going to cut up to that gain access here get all those out like i said all eight are in there right now so there we go oh, all right just give me all right there's eight of those and now those are held on with uh, tens, number tens, tens, four tens. Those are these little guys off here in the corner. Open that up. Okay, we so got ours for the next step. And we are ready to go. So it doesn't think, I don't think it matters which side goes where, as long as they go on there. So. These are okay, what's happening here? So this is gonna go through here from the back side. Come out. Come out, come out. There we go. Alright, this is kind of fun here. Remember, hand tighten. If it doesn't go on easy, just back it out and try it again. It should go fairly easily on there. Of course, this is a little wonky, so um, I'm gonna get this other one here. Same thing, just getting it from the side. Hope you guys can see that okay. Yeah, we're just on the side there. 
and just slip our screw here into the top part so it uh, uh, protrudes from this side. See when I'm looking at it. All right, all right. Okay, we'll back up like that. Screw this one on ever so gently. right now get these kind of where I want them and then I can uh, finish them off a little bit so all right same thing over here this is oops in my top hole retrieve a little bit And then we get our other ones, there's four more. And those go through the bottom parts. And we will put the uh, nuts on those. I'm just gonna get these going here. Hand tighten. Okay, so we're gonna go through here, bottom hole. Give me one that's like fits perfectly. These feels like it's almost too small here. Don't want to strip these, so you got to be real careful with the Allen keys, especially on these. Is not so. It's obviously a little cheaper uh, material, guys. This isn't like. The burliest, most expensive futon you can buy, obviously. Um, let me use this here. Hold it. Using a croissant ranch here. So if you tighten too much, it looks like it's gonna actually bend the metal a little bit. So we're just gonna kind of do, holy cow. I feel like this Allen key is like almost too small. So if you tightening it, it's just like falling out of there. So move over the wall here. I mean like literally it's like not even, really fitting into the feels like it's almost that's like stripped already okay so a little disappointed in the quality of these screws if 
can't even screw that one in because it's like, dude, this Allen key, is this a joke? This Allen key is like not working. Either these, like, it's already like stripped here. It's literally not turning on there. I need another Allen key. So, that's a little frustrating. Um, all right, well, I'll have to remedy this here. Okay, so, a little, little not happy with the uh, deal going on here. So, I went to the garage, got my socket. These are 11 millimeter on these things, okay? Now, to test the, uh, the screws here. It's a little better. Those are bigger than 11 millimeter. Oh, probably these ones are 13 millimeters. Okay. Those are just stripping. Okay, so maybe I don't know, guys. Okay, I got my grip of uh, Allen keys here. Okay, so this one looks like it's fitting a little better. This is one I just had, happened to have. So that's actually working different size than these so it looks very similar it might be the difference between I don't know metric and whatever something you expect it to work yeah, that's just stripping okay so we're gonna have to do this the old school way so when all else fails guys I mean I need something to hold that screw there and it's basically just the, the, the top part so I'm gonna get my vice grips and uh, latch it on there. Not happy with the quality here, my friends. I mean, give me something that's actually going to work here. So now I got my get my vice grips. Lock them onto the end of the nut here, or the bolt, and then tighten it up that way. So this is not ideal, really. Obviously. This is not how you want to do it. Ideally, we want your uh, equipment to work properly so you don't have to do this. It's a little ridiculous that I have to do this here. Okay. This should not be the case. Or no? Okay, looks 
looks like this other one I found is going to work a little bit. Good golly. Yeah, it's just, they fit perfect. This fits perfectly in this one. Did they give me two different sizes? These Allen keys look exactly the same, guys. All right, we're going over the other side. And let's see, that one is there and that one is there. And that is nothing. I don't know what this one is, but this one fits a lot better. Okay. Okay, so this is the proper one. These are slightly larger, it looks like. Um, so the Allen key they gave me. like the same size but it's clearly not this one fits a lot more snug in there so you gotta be really careful with these This other one here. from previous uh, buildings and my other stuff so um, there's a find one that fit a little better but for them to give you stuff that doesn't fit it is not cool okay so now we got ease and we're gonna use ease put these together I guess okay so what one is this doesn't say okay P I'm gonna put uh, these together with P's easy peasy and these take a little screw in there bum, 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 bum. What screws do they take? What is a screw? Okay, so eight. Number eight. Save number eight. Hopefully. Uh, eight number eight's right there. Cut our way up there. Head screwdriver. Oh, I got my Phillips head somewhere. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, there's one. Which is actually back to set below. Uh, no. Okay, so we have other P. P, 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 P. Let's see. Not seeing a P here. Okay. Perhaps. Oh, it's P here. So P. Here's a P. So we put that in there. Get our other screw in. You were not going to strip on me, dude. Okay. Get our other one. It's done within the three hours, so that's great. I could have practically built this out of, I don't know. Okay, there's that. Get this one going here. so dumb. Okay, well, P and O. Well, these are P and P, so a small mistake. That's all right. At least it wasn't like 20 screws. P needs to go with O, and that one didn't have an O on it. So P with O, guys, step five. Sorry about that. I'm sorry, step six, P with O. Fortunately, it was just two screws. But this is supposed to be times two. Come on, man. There we go. In fact. not enough room in here to do this but all right there's p and o out of the way Okay, one down. Okay, move that out of the way there. Get this one down here. Watch the window. Okay, one, two, three, four. This one goes in there, slide it in. Same thing with the other one. Come on, man. Don't fight me. I'm not 
tighten these all the way in yet because they might need to rotate a little bit with the other one and I don't want to hold it out of place. So just screwed it in most of the way, but some lower so I can still move a little bit that way. Just a little bit. So when you slide the other one on there, it does have enough room to get on there without too much trouble. Here we go. Okay, back it out a little bit. This has got to go on kind of straight. Not one side all at once. Now that that's on there, this can be tightened all the way on. Okay, then we can tighten our other side up. go and there we go okay. done next step step seven uh flip those over screw head should be facing up in this step okay O and P of the wire mesh towards the floor. All right, so these ones, wire mesh part is on the bottom, screw heads facing up. We have these reinforcement rods. Looks like the, they go like, a, like this. No, how they go? What is going on here? So. One goes over the top, one goes over the bottom, looks like. I'm guessing. What's going on over here? So, yeah, one side goes on the bottom, and one side goes on the top. Okay, so the rounded part corner. It goes on top, which is top, which is, yeah, with the mesh facing down. And then this one goes go under there and over. Okay, so it doesn't go under the wire, it just goes like that. Okay, so what ones are these? These are gonna be dun, dun, dun. threes and nines. Okay, so those are nines. Those are threes. Four threes. Threes and nines, guys. Threes and nines. So we need four threes. Obviously, four nines. Okay, let's hope we have an Allen key that actually works. Okay, that looks like it's pretty snug. And these nines. Okay, so. Heads are facing up, yes. What's this number seven and number six? What am I looking at here? Nines and threes. What the heck? 
Before starting, we place O and P with the wire mesh towards the floor. Attach Q to O and P with 3 and 9. Yes. Number seven, number six times two. here also. Color me confused here. Okay, so six and seven times two. So we got four. Okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should be eight screws. You could say four of these. This is a little confusing here. Okay, so is there a difference here? Well, apparently, apparently, one's gonna go with these. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, so flathead, the mesh is down, flathead's going up through here. I, I, I don't know, just looking ahead at the other one, there's just, uh, probably shouldn't be doing that yet. So, get these going, flathead on the bottom, which is actually the top. Come on, this is a joke. There we go, all right, and we are on step seven here. Not really rolling, guys. I am sure if you're watching this, that which you are because you're hearing me, that you're saying that like, this guy is the world's slowest worker. And that I might be. But. fairness this is not the most user friendly thing here um, all right so let's go on there this is 11 millimeter and we are going to cheat a little bit and use that Oh no, we're cheating. Are you actually using a tool that works? Oh no. Don't tell anybody. Okay, that's a little easier. Can we rotate this thing in here? Maybe not. Dun, 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 dun. Get our Allen key in there. That's the 
correct way, right? So just double checking. Goes on the top part. Goes down. Bottom part down. Yes, that is correct. Okay, just want to make sure. I have to redo this part. Okay, that one is done. Now, apparently. This one's slightly different. Okay, so this one is step eight. Step eight, everybody. Where my other one goes. So apparently it's two number threes, two number sixes, and two number nines. So okay. So let's get our these so slightly different falling backwards mesh facing down check rounded part out away from us rounded edges okay flip this so it's that way round edges out So this one goes on the bottom of the rounded edge as it's facing down. The bottom of the rounded edge as it's facing down. Bottom of the rounded edge, okay, like that. So one of these is what? What is the deal here? Which one gets the Six and seven. It's the front portion. It gets the six and seven one. All right. So front portion gets six and seven. We're gonna put this on the back portion here. And the Titan should be easy till you get to the nine on. Okay, and so with this one. And tight. Okay. Now this one's got six and seven. Slightly different. Apparently how they gonna go? Six part. Should I guess, or is it pretty much a similar thing here? So these just screw into that, and I'm not sure which one goes on where. So I'm just going to screw it in. That's the bigger part there, right? It's the fatter part. Hang on, whichever one's got the fatter head, that's the one I'm going to put in there, so on the bottom. So the uh, the one that it screws into has the fatter head, so I'm going to put the smaller head on top, and that's uh, that's why they use two Allen keys, I guess. So, I'll show you guys what we're doing here. This one, this one screws into that one, 
and I'm putting this one it's a little slightly bigger head on that and that's going on the far side okay that one's going over here on the back and just doing that because this one's on the top this one's going to be on the top and I guess this just wants to be uh, as flat as possible I guess so okay let's use the Allen keys they gave us and hope that it actually tightens correctly what do you know it actually worked unlike the other ones Okay, that's in there. Now we can flip it. Get these final ones on here. Tighten those up. using that stupid little wrench thing this would take about well, well we're probably already like an hour into this build here so people can make a car in like just as much time but if i was using that little wrench they gave me it'd still be back in the step one or whatever okay those were uh, unnecessarily uh, complicated step uh Step nine. Oh boy, this should be a fun one. So we're attaching these to our hardware here. Uh oh. Okay, so back of the frame is the square part, guys. So, all right, move this forward a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so your rounded edge is going to go out. So this is meant to be rotated around here. Dun, dun, dun. And rounded out towards both ends. And also, now your little mesh part is on top. Like so. Okay, what do we need with this one? It's going to be back frame, which I, I'm just going to assume that they're, oh boy, wait. One had smaller screws. And, uh, which one had the smaller screws? Does it matter? matter which one has a little screw oh now it's gonna say that this thing should be under the mesh mm. Orientation of brace cue should be underneath the mesh panel. Well, you stinking didn't say that. Well, it would have been nice to put that before. So apparently they want this, when it comes in, to put that up underneath the mesh and then go in. Like it's supposed to go up under there. I think that's, I don't know, guys. Does it make that much of a difference? Is that gonna like pop off if that's not under there? Right, I think it might pop it off if I try to force it under there. There's not like a lot of room there. You know what, heck with that. But it's holding the mesh though, right? Is that the only thing holding the mesh down? I mean, this is here. 
goes in there. You know what? No. You didn't say that in that step. I'm not going to take it out and then redo that and go under the mesh. You should have said that in the beginning. Apparently, they want this to go up underneath the mesh there. If it breaks, we're going to have a problem here, my friends. Okay, so these are eights. Nine and two times eight. So this is about all we have left. Fortunately, this is almost over. Good night. Get these out. We'll get our other final things out here. Okay, so apparently, what goes on top? Guessing that these go on top like that. Let's go down at all, or what? What's the deal here? It's not flat. That'd be kind of nice. And just get it through there and hand tighten it on there, guys. Okay. The other side here. Let's go down. That's cool. Get it through there. Tighten. Through. And tighten. All right, so this will be our socket fits. Hopefully, our Allen key is going to cooperate. That little wrench will just be a pain. That's not under there, is that just gonna, is that really gonna be a problem? If it is, it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be that big of a deal, I don't know. We'll think about it. All right, next one, very similar. Uh, not as 
cheesy here. That's the last one, so. Hmm. What's happening here? All right, so I'm gonna come up underneath maybe. Try to hand tighten that at least. Okay, one on. I'm gonna reach it from this side over here. Oh, come on, man. Get on that. There we go. Okay. All right, so over the other side we go. Uh, yeah. assembly time on this bad boy is but I'll be willing to wager over here. that little wrench up there. That would not be happening here. Maybe that little wrench so you can't over tighten. I don't know. Okay. Next. We still have screws over here. Okay, so it has eleven. Eight of these. Those are elevens. And these are going to put 
then where the metal contacts the metal. Yeah, basically anywhere where these are, one, two, three, four, five, six. So anywhere where these bars are touching that, we're gonna put our little um, pad down there. So we have enough of these, right? Two, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Okay, so these don't touch these middle ones, so we're gonna go two, three, four, and then four, three, four on the other one. So I guess if I read the instructions, I would see that. So I'm trying to get those nice and centered there. It's gonna be make this a little quieter. Try to peel this off the back there and set that down right there. Try to get it in the middle, see where your thing is, and get that lower that to the metal right there. Okay. We are rolling now, guys. Okay, why is that a little bent? Just a little bit, that's why. Okay, put our pads on the other side. And these ones. Whoa, whoa. Just gonna go down right there. Close enough. Good enough for government work. This is just the, the tree house. Uh, so far so one hour this might be my longest how-to video ever I to put in a car starter faster than this um man, this was kind of intimidating guys i mean all right first position second position lift the back frame back frame is one with a higher part First position. Okay, second position. Okay, that's second position. <laughs> we got step 11. That was one of our faster steps. Okay, and now we have these little hook things. And attach T times 3 to O and P times 2. Okay, so these little guys. How do they go on? Do they get screwed on there? Apparently not. Apparently they just hook on there. So this is going to go in the middle. Just kind of pull that forward, I guess, or what? Okay, so I guess. Correctly, these just kind of go forward there. So, just going to squeeze your things together a little bit. Those go on there like that. Same thing over here. Just kind of squeeze it a little bit. There we go. No tools required. I guess that saying goes on the inside, so maybe. Uh, I got my tripod on the door. On there. Squeeze it together. There we go. Okay, so that was step 12. This should be the final step. Well, step 13. Now we have 
these little handles to attach. Okay. Please tell me. Handles, huh? Okay, that might come into attach the handles with that. Okay, so we got the little screws left over. Number eight. I should only need four. My little handles here. Just like this. Don't screw it all the way. Get that other one in there. And tighten that one down. So these are going to kind of guide where they're supposed to go. Just tighten them on there. And uh, we're good, I guess. Gonna hold your mattress on there or the cushion. Okay. Same with over here. Try to come in the way a little bit, guys. I'm just just using the thing to screw it in there. Not all the way yet. Get your screw on there. Get the other one going here. Down and then tighten the other side down. Okay. There we go. Alright, so how's that going here? Whoopsie. I'm okay. I'm building. Yeah, it's just the thing. Size bend like that or what? I'm guessing. Okay. Um, I guess I put this in a little bit maybe. There's my other socket. Socket missing. Where did my socket go? Okay, so that's that. Looks like the main part of the bed is done. So you get over there. You let me over here, man. There's my other socket. I'm gonna roll that over there. That was classic. Alright, it's break time. Break time. Brought to you by Snapple. Uh, not brought to you by Snapple. So what's the fun fact, guys? Dolphins are unable to smell. Real fact number 970. That's unfortunate for them. But if you're living in the water and you really need to smell, I don't know. And how they know that, I don't know how they know. Okay. Step. 13.
Those are in. Lay the cover flat and open the two zippers located on the, each of the side of the cover. Put the pads in each compartment in the cover and close the zippers. Place the sub assembly pad cover on the frame you just assembled. Make sure that the mat frame with mattress retainers is always easy to seat and the food Do not lift this seat frame. Okay. It's I got the tripod on there. No. Okay, so now we just need to get that out there, so Where's our socket? We'll close up this real quick. And kind of free up a little bit of space here. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Where did I put the uh on the bottom here. Indeed, I did it. Okay, so here is our case here. There's maybe washable, rugged, and durable. Can we just pull this off and wash it? 100% polyester. Okay, do not wash, do not dry clean, do not bleach, wipe only. 100% polyester, so it's basically just plastic. You should be able to clean it pretty easy. Alright, so this says just kind of lay this flat and put the cushions in there. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Each cushion's got a little compartment there, so. I'm just going to leave this cover on there, I think. Why not, right? Nice little shipping cover. We'll slide our little thing in there. Each little pocket, I guess. Now, okay, each side should take its own little... Where are we at here? There we go, do that in the middle. Each, each little part has its own little pocket here. Just gonna work this in there, guys. And it's gonna go in there nicely. Should go in there rather nicely. Looking like it is so far. Okay, goes to the end. Like that, nice. And then we can um, zip it. One end. It looks like the zipper comes from that end. So, let's get our other one in here. And that's the same way. We're just going to kind of work it in there. Lay it flat. Alright. Sorry about the TV there, guys. Alright. Lay this kind of flat. And then push this in. This side. Coaxing. Make sure that's unfurled. Just kind of push it in. Work your way around. Maybe pull that a little bit. Just make sure it's not stressing the zipper too much. a little bit more in one way than it should be. Get that up. There we go. It's got the like slippery part in the middle. So make sure it's laid flat like it says. Okay. And that 
get in there as much as possible. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Alright, now we can kind of just tuck that in. I'm just pushing the thumb around here to keep it away from the zipper as we go. zipper and I'm gonna just push it in a little bit tuck it in there we go in there okay all right guys there's one part This part going. That's just going to be kind of a repeat of what we just did. So it's got this uh, section in here to split it up. And we're just going to kind of push that right in here. We want that section there. Zipper. How are we doing there? Is that looking pretty good or more? Rotate this this way. Start zipping. So here we go. Just get that in there. All right. Last but not least, try to get this other one in there. Okay. So if you had a little bit more room, this would be a little easier, but making do with what we got in the tree house here. This is gonna be a little tree house uh, furniture so the kids can kick back on it, you know. So I'm gonna be wrapping this up here pretty soon. And I'm gonna give this a little bit of a review as usual most of the products I show you guys I try to do an honest review on those let you guys know what I think so obviously you guys saw with the screws uh, a little not real happy with the with the quality there I mean for 139 bucks I'm not expecting you know top of the line but that being said you kind of kind of expect something you know okay so here's this and i'm not sure if this has to go a certain way but it's kind of like that now do I fear that if I don't slip this under there, is it going to break that? I don't really have that feeling that it's going to break. Okay, so, um, so far, if you're using it as a bed, you know, if you get to the edge, it says not to go to the edge, you know, but if you're sleeping on it, it says they can hold 600 pounds. And I'm nowhere near 600 pounds, so I can't really tell you, but um, it's comfy, guys. This is like, you know, I guess it's about 6, 5'10", so um, 
if you are, this is I think about six feet probably from here, or handle to handle. So if you were gonna sleep here, obviously you can have a, a pillow here, or you could, you know, kind of bend your legs or whatever. And if you're taller, you're probably used to that anyway. So that's kind of cool. It's comfy. Give me that. This is a, a comfortable uh, mattress. Okay, now it says that when we fold it, always want to fold from the back part. So we're going to come back here and. Alright, so I got this in the right formation, is what I'm thinking. Does it matter which way I have this? I'm not sure. So we're going to just lift this up here. One click is there. Alright, so. It's not really bending that much, is it? Okay. It's a little better. I think maybe when this thing works itself in, that'll hold better. Okay, so maybe we just need to work it in there a little bit. You know? There we go. So it bends a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's one. And be, you know, held on there, front there, it's not, so we gotta get this on there, there we go, that should be like that, and that just needs to, probably over time, still on there like that, so, that's pretty comfy, I'm not a super high back, but that's alright, now we can move it one more. The click. Mm. All right, that's almost like it's almost like you're leaning forward there. So it's really straight up and down. Well, I guess a little bit of an incline as you guys can see. So and then if you want to put it back. Ah. So so this is still stiff. You can see that. Um, I wonder if I got this on the right side. I don't appear to have any um, difference in which side you put it on. So, just for a uh, thing to kick it on, it feels not like, you know, it feels sturdy. It says 600 pounds, it can hold 600, so. Um, once this gets worked in a little bit, it'll be all right. Um, okay, so that's holding there. I don't feel like this is gonna break here. This mesh part, I mean, that's the one thing I did wrong, I guess. So it's, uh, it's fairly comfortable, you know? If I was gonna lean up at all, it'd be definitely that first kick feels, um, you know, more comfy, just kind of a, a relaxed um, way like that. Hello? But other than that, guys, um, it's $139, so obviously this isn't going to be a world-class uh, futon, and it's, it is comfortable, though. Uh, especially laying down, it feels like a nice little mattress, actually, so kind of happy with that. I don't want to use this in the first click position if I was going to sit here. It was kind of almost like you're falling forward with the other part. But and I'll probably loosen up a little bit once this gets uh, worn in a little bit. So um, yeah. Uh, had a kind of a beef with the screws with the Allen key not being the correct size. I had to improvise a little bit. So um, other than that, for just kicking it in a nice little area here, it's kind of cozy and just kind of like a little loungy type uh, futon. It's not bad. I mean, in a pinch, you guys uh, sometimes the kids just spend the night out here and stuff, so um, just fold this down, make a nice little bed. So cool little uh, futon, 139 bucks. Uh, I'm an Amazon associate. If they have one like this on Amazon, I'm gonna get this from Walmart. I'll link it in the description below. If you guys buy stuff from there, it helps out the channel. I appreciate it.
appreciate that. <sighs> what else? What else? I mean, it's comfortable. The build wasn't the easiest. It had a little more room. Maybe another person to help. Um, Could have gone a little faster. But yeah, that's it. This one, and uh, yeah, a little bit more quality on the screws, guys. Would have been would have been good. Uh, it doesn't feel like super strong either. Like I could bend this metal with my bare hands pretty much. So, um, but I think it might be aluminum or something. I hope it doesn't rust up here. This is outdoors, but I mean, it's pretty pretty nice little tree house here. So, yeah, I think that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, um, like and subscribe. I mean, I know this wasn't the best video. It was kind of long, so, um, but be that as it may, that's where we're at. But thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day. What, an hour and 46?